evidence of dark matter in the universe. The elements radium and polonium, the double helix structure of DNA. What do all these discoveries have in common? They were all made by women. Women have been contributing to science, technology, engineering and mathematics throughout history. In some First Nations cultures, women were responsible for agriculture and food gathering, making them some of the world's first farmers. But being a woman in STEM is not without its challenges. Not being allowed to work, being barred from university degrees, not being credited with their discoveries. It's not always been an equitable journey for women. So what's it like for women in STEM today? In 2020, the number of women working in STEM industries in Australia was 28%. In the US in 2019, this number was 24%. This shows that the challenges for women in STEM still exist today. The bias against women in STEM can start from an early age. For example, what do you picture when you think of a scientist? You may have pictured a male scientist in a lab coat with crazy hair, performing experiments. In fact, studies show the majority of people from preschool right through to 18 years old picture the same thing. But actually seeing women in STEM matters. Studies show that all students show more understanding when they see women in chemistry textbook images compared to when images only show men. Female students perform better in academic tasks when women related to the task are featured on classroom walls. These are just some examples of why we should encourage and embrace equity in STEM. So what are some of the wonderful ways women are putting the W in STEM? Let's gaze into space with thousands of years of First Nations knowledge. Carly Noon is a Gamilla Ray woman and astrophysicist. Carly is interested in how Indigenous people have made observations of space to help predict the weather. Did you know moon halos can be used to predict upcoming storms? The bright ring of light sometimes seen surrounding the moon is light reflecting off clouds high in the atmosphere. Carly's a traditional scientist, but you don't need to wear a lab coat to use STEM in your life. How are other women around the world embracing STEM? Let's fly with female paraglider Denise Uzunkaya. Denise uses her knowledge of physics and meteorology to get airborne. Her problem-solving skills help her plan flights and make quick decisions in the sky. These are all vital in keeping her soaring safely while she explores. When Denise isn't in the clouds, she's interacting with STEM as a physiotherapist. You can even find her mixing mathematical and chemistry skills as a bartender. Let's get creative with STEM. Suzanne Kite is an Indigenous Lakota artist. The importance of the Earth's environment plays a large role in her culture. Kite celebrates this in her work using sound compositions. She's one of the first Indigenous artists to use machine learning, including algorithms and artificial intelligence in artwork. STEM doesn't just have to mean the standard disciplines. We all engage with STEM daily, whether in our work, studies or everyday life. And STEM is something that should be accessible to all. So remember to put your letter in STEM and celebrate women in STEM.